Okay, I'm in the center of the frame. I I just needed to be sure. Hi everyone, it's Auntie Jen here. No, it's not Thursday, it's Tuesday. And guess what? I'm doing a story vlog today. I'm excited. A little bit. Kinda. The weather outside is really, it's threatening. You know, the clouds are really dark. It is super overcast and really bleaky. So I'm wondering if this is a good idea. Granted, we're still in hurricane season, but I promised you guys a story vlog because it is Independence Month in Barbados. And like mentioned, Barbadians are very patriotic during November. So I really want to capture all that beautiful, sweet, loving greatness on camera. So it starts today, to now. No, tomorrow. Today's Monday. Tomorrow. It's Tuesday. So you have to stay tuned on Tuesday. But we're gonna have some fun. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is your friendly neighborhood auntie, it's Auntie Jen here. <laughs> Welcome to our first story vlog, Better Late Than Never, but here we are finally. I think I want to call this one Hello Barbados. Yeah, Hello Barbados, because if you've never been to the island before, if you've heard of Barbados, you, you know, I want to be able to give you something that you can take away from today. So let's start at the beginning, or for me, what I deem as the beginning. If anyone comes to Barbados, where are you coming from? The airport. It's usually, well, it's called, I should say, Grantley Adams International Airport. But I learned that it was previously called Seawell Airport. I didn't know that. Did you? If you're like me and you're always curious about things that you don't know, you probably Googled it. So I learned that in 1976, it was renamed in honor of Sir Grantley Adams, who was the first Premier of Barbados, Prime Minister of the West Indies Federation, political activist, basically father of democracy. So that is how the airport got its name. Um, Grantley Adams, Sir Grantley Adams is also a national hero of Barbados. Now, Barbados is the most easternly island in the Lesser Antilles. Now, if you did classes in geography, or even not if you didn't, I'm pretty sure you would have heard of Greater Antilles and Lesser Antilles. And people call it different ways. Some people say Antilles, some people say Antilles. I think I said it the same way just now. Anyways, the island is 166 square miles. It is made up of coral limestone. It is known as the land of flying fish, with the national dish being cuckoo and flying fish. The flag is comprised of three vertical parts, the outer parts being ultramarine and the middle panel being gold. I did not know that because I've always heard <laughs> of blue, yellow and black put it up. Now that is an actual song in Barbados by the way, but I've always heard of blue, yellow and black. But the outer panels are actually called ultramarine, that's the color, and the inner panel, the middle panel is actually gold. Now what do these colors represent? I'm so happy you asked. The ultramarine represents the sky and the ocean, 
while the goal represents the sand on the beaches. The trident symbolizes the break from England, or rather independence from England. The three points of the trident represent the three principles of democracy, government of, for, and by the people. Barbados has 11 parishes. Can you believe that? 11. 11 parishes with the capital city being in St. Michael, commonly called Bridgetown. Um, yeah, so Bridgetown is the capital of Barbados. Um, the next thing I want to do, I want us to try out Barbadian food, but also go around the island to see some very patriotic places in Barbados because ba Barbadians are very patriotic. They're very, very patriotic, especially around independence. So I'm going to try to capture as much of that as I can. And we're going to indulge in some Barbadian delicacies. We're going to take a trip around the market, hopefully go to the beaches and maybe some springs. Just to get an idea of what the island is about, what the vibe is about, what the energy of the people, what all of that is about. And also to just say, you know, the island may be tiny, but it is quite mighty. So thank you guys so much for staying tuned. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something new. And yeah, I'm gonna try to work on these story vlogs and really make it more vloggy, I guess. <laughs> but you guys can let me know what you think in the in the comment section below. Leave a comment, share your suggestions, you know, say Auntie Jen, why don't you can include this? Do, do, do. I love to hear from you guys. So put it down below and I'll be looking forward to it. Have a great one. Bye!